Hey guys, this is 101R Smith, and today I'm bringing you my review of the high grade Stargazer Gundam from the OVA Gundam Seed Stargazer. Now, before I begin, I'd like to give a huge shout out once again to Canadian Gundam for supplying me this model kit to bring to you guys. They have a large assortment of model kits ranging from Gundam, Digimon, Dragon Ball, and a lot of assortments from series that we all grew up in love with each other. Go check them out. They have a flat rate $10 shipping fee all throughout North America. So if you can, please go give them a check out. Tell them that Reggie and Gunpla Network sent you there. So before, now we got that wrapped up. Here is the Stargazer Gundam, the high grade. This is the only kit of the Stargazer Gundam that we have right now. This series came out in the mid-2000s, right before 00, so 2005-2006. And there is no other kit you can get of this right now, at least that we know of. I was apprehensive and nervous about this at first, but, you know, we have to give everything a fair shot. And completing the build, there were some surprises that I thought here. No, this does not have a complete inner frame, so if you're looking for that, I'm sorry. But, in that, there is a great setup. You can definitely tell it comes from the Seed universe. There's a lot of design aspects that you see from the GAT units, and a lot of the chess unit parts that I got. It, it kind of gave me a lot of freedom and Justice Gundam vibes. So it's definitely within its own universe in its DNA. Putting it together, there was some frame, there was some surprising amount of articulation in the chest that I was not expecting coming out of it, but we do have it here. And overall, it was a fun build. It only took about maybe two and a half hours altogether, and it was very thorough. Having it all together now, it's a great looking kit. You're not gonna get the most amazing articulation out of it, to be honest. And the sticker use, it's bordering, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little bordering here. It kind of gave, it has like a, a lot of these black trim parts that are very reminiscent of Burning Gundam from G Gundam. So I didn't mind that, but it was getting a little bit repetitive and parts of me were going, Ben, why couldn't you have just done separate pieces for it? But I have to remember, this is a 2006 high grade. You can't really have that many expectations coming out of it. So for its time, the sticker use was a little bad, but nothing was as atrocious as that gem piece on the side of the V fin. That red is not included, even though they have red in the tray runner. They wanted you to put a sticker. I said, oh hell no, I'm not putting a sticker. I have PTSD flashbacks from HD00 Gundam when I saw that V-Fin, so I took it upon myself to paint up the red part of the V-Fin myself. It's not the cleanest paint, I'm still trying to get those small little details down together, but it's sufficient and I'm happy with it. So overall, this kit isn't bad. You have to take some expectations from the timeline of which it came from, but it is not a bad kit. So for its articulation and accessories, first the articulation, it's just fairly standard. The only thing that surprised me was the fact that the ball joints in the arms allow the shoulder and the arm to be somewhat separate so it has its own articulation. I wasn't expecting that from a 2006 high grade, but hey, there's always room for surprises here, and I was thoroughly surprised in that. Unfortunately, it still had the kind of like the T-bar kind of shape in the legs it's kind of reminiscent of the early master grades where it's just a t so you're gonna you're gonna get you're not, you're not going to get that parallel split the knees were sufficient the ankles were surprising but overall there's not much and it's also kind of disappointing the fact that it did not come with expressive hands would have been a dope feature to have but hey you can't always get what you want articulation is average it works it gets the job done nothing special nothing special nothing flamboyant but everything that you need to get done is done accessories well first off the special thing about the stargazer gundam is it's not it's a non-combative gundam 
basically this Gundam was designed to kind of just be a test bed for new technology. It's about sailing in space. That's why this Gundam was designed for. It is not designed for combat. However, the designers were smart enough to at least give it a beam rifle to have some self-defense because hey, space is crazy out there, especially in the cosmic era. You got, you know, asteroid belts, you got destroyed colonies, and you have a rogue strike Gundam coming after you. So you need something. So it's very sparse, but it's in line with the anime. So while you only get the one beam rifle, I can't be mad. It's what was in the OVA. But the main kind of accessory or its effect parts because this whole thing is about sailing so it opens up the the circle on its back in order to fly out in different a range of sequences from the ova and you get these really cool circular green effect parts they really pop out with the lime green with how it works is thankfully bandai gave you an action base you attach the stargazer to the action base. You get this metal rod you put into the back attachment to it, and using the clear effect parts, you can mount them any other way how you ever want to do it so that you can get those cool action poses, you can get those cool effects that you saw with the green beams from the OVA. And I'd say I pro probably would have preferred an action base, but the display base is still a huge get from Bandai. They didn't even have to include that. They could have made you buy it separately. But no, they gave it to us. I'm happy with that. I am suffice with that. So we have that. And that's really about it. The thing about the Stargazer is that it is about what it does in the OVA. It's about flying. It's about its space poses. This really isn't a combat mobile suit. And you need to also understand that in order for you to pick it up and figure out what you're dealing with. In terms of fun and playability, kind of mid. So what I mean by that is you really need an HG Strike Rouge in order to have some real fun with the Stargazer Gundam. By itself, it's a very unique Gundam. I will not take that away from it. However, its lack of combat oriented design and just by itself it's kind of alien unless you're trying to have a whole seed collection then you can really start to pop off a little bit but you really need more suits with this you need to pick up the other hg seed stargazer kits in order to really bring out the playability is this a cool little thing to have in your collection by itself yes but in order to bring out its true potential i really feel you need other kits in order to have a lot of fun with your stargazer unless you just want the stargazer to have as man this is unique i haven't seen anything like this since turn a go for it but by itself you really need more to it overall my last thoughts i'm honestly surprised how well this kit was i really had a lot of negative connotations going into it because of its age and the era that it came from i was for the most part wrong this isn't bad and i'm really happy to have it as a part of my collection and i'm really happy to build it up for you guys still it needs more it needs more kits to occupy it with itself standalone it's all right but i really think it would be amazing to have some buddies with it so once again this is my review of the Stargazer Gundam. If you're interested, please go to Canadian Gundam and look it up for yourself to buy that kit. Again, flat rate shipping of $10 all throughout North America. So, especially now that we're starting to recover and we can get more kits, try to pick it up if you can. By the way, I am Reggie, and I will see you later.